Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi. Um, in today's video, it's about five amazing charts that are going to show you what is happening to Bitcoin at the moment and I think you will like it. Of course, there's still a small danger that I'm going to show you as well, but on the other hand, there's also a lot of possibilities to the upside so let's jump into this video now and check what i found first chart the first chart is a daily chart huh did he daily chart yes we are starting in the zoomed out mode the zoomed out mode is the daily chart we can see that we are finding support on a thick red line. Again, I will keep repeating it. It's a 200 day moving average. The 200 day moving average. At the same time, you see those two green lines. That one over here. That's the price movement going down. That one over here. That is the RSI. And if you look very closely, that one is going up. This is what they call bullish divergence. Bullish divergence mostly leads into an explosive move to the upside. How do we know this? Now, for example, let's just take a look at here. The price was going down. Do you see that? And we look at our RSI. That one was going up. Bullish divergence. Price is moving down. RSI moving up. Explosion to the upside. Do we have more examples of this one? Um, let's see price movement down hugely down RSI look moving up bullish divergence BAM so that is what we are seeing now yes this can take a little bit longer yes the price can go a little bit more down but then we should would be breaking that 200 day moving average which is mostly a huge region of support Look, here we broke it almost when we came back. We broke it, but it didn't take long. It took like not even a week to come back above it. So that's why I'm looking at that 200 day moving average very closely. Bam, here, this one. Also, we have been looking at this one many times. It's the Gaussian channel on the five day chart. Zooming on a little bit more. These are five day candles. This is not good when we enter that channel because it will suck us down to the midline and sometimes even to the bottom not good in my opinion and um, at the moment look we came there and we got sucked in even here to the bottom and we are still trying to keep it up there and the midline here is at 42,700 that's exactly the level that a lot of you people think that we are going to because the 42k should be a retest of the previous 41k wick that we saw there so all possible if it is up to the Gaussian channel because if you look to the past of this channel look when we came into it here in June we fought it we fought it no nope. bam and we even took it to the bottom bam to the top again bam to that bottom again till we broke out that was the moment we had the huge run in July so I'm hoping that we can keep these candles this one is closing in two days above this midline 42k and then try to break out again and get an explosive growth next chart bam zooming out a little bit more the weekly on the weekly we are finding support again on this red line it's the 50 weekly moving average so this line also in the weekly which is around now 47,200 is holding support this weekly candle will close in five days the bam bam indicator told you guys to sell over there and we are now just waiting for that red area to become smaller curl a little bit up and then it will become green again and from the moment it will be green the bam bam will tell you to buy again so if you're doubting to buy into bitcoin now i would wait till on the weekly the bam is green yes you can buy in a little bit more expensive that way but at least the bam bam told you then to buy at that moment you are finding support on that line plus also on that downward line which is like the line we broke here and now we are retesting that line so that should be going up the rsi in the bottom also you can see that you know we are slowly going up if you look in a shorter per period we are going like that we should sign support and go up again do we have more yes of course for the ones that are trading 
uh, and using the bam bam indicator this is the four hour chart on uh, bybit just check it um, long short long short that it would be spot and if you leverage trade you need to trade with a triple confirmation and why this area here is showing you the power of the triple confirmation there was a long flag even a candle closing above the yellow stepping line the bam bam was crossing but the gray line was very flat not going up but there was a huge yellow and blue area this is not a correct confirmation the confirmation should be a green area to do the long this next long flag this one candle closing above the yellow stepping line the bam bam crossing the gray line going up a green dot and a green area on the bottom that's the right combination and that is the confirmation or triple confirmation of the buy and then you can see what happened again if you spot trade different now i have some more amazing charts we're going to quickly jump into those over here this is the first one because i'm sharing people's opinion other traders opinion as well so you understand that i'm not the only one thinking about charts but there's many people thinking about charts and i want to share their opinion as well so you have a broader perspective perspective oh that sounds so fancy um on on everything that is going on at the moment in crypto i think it's created by verdelli or something over there you can see here in the top there uh, it's published um, i found it on twitter uh, i i just want to share it because I, you know i see um, something cool happening september compared to december this year and in september we saw that uh, blue area consolidation range <clears throat> we broke down then we had the lowest four hour close over there again consolidation and there was a downtrend channel like you can see this white one and the upper line and the lower line and we had a dotted line this trend line that we need to break to move up again ah here crypto valerio now in december we are seeing the same thing happening we came in that upper consolidation range to the lower consolidation range the lowest lowest four hour close we again have that downward trend with the lower trend line over uh, over here the upper trend line over there and we have the dotted one over there so the question is are we going to do the same are we going to bottom out again here have that run to the upper line break that dotted line and then have that run up so in this area between now and the 20th of december cool chart better chart even i think is this one on this one you can um, really cool see and uh, this one is created by the rational route um, i've showed it many times more before the thing here is that you see is that from the top in 2013 to the top in 2017 took 154 days if we would climb in the same way and put the top after the same amount of days then the top of 2017 to the top of 2021 should be around 21st of march 2022 this is comparing the distance between the previous tops and then trying to guess could that be the same distance then the top would be over there really cool chart there's a lot of information on this chart you can pause it to check it you can see the all-time highs how many all-time highs there were the pre-halvings just how we are moving up in that spiral um, i can tell you the outside line is one million us dollars so there will be a line that uh, a time that we will be touching that line and it will be probably the next bull run because this line is going to continue 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 and somewhere touch that line of one million dollar per bitcoin now next chart bam over here and um, this one is also crazy cool this one is created by charts btc um, what do i like about this one this one is educating you about satoshi per us dollar what is a satoshi the satoshi is the smallest units unit of the bitcoin currency in the blockchain it's a 100 millionth of a single bitcoin so that's 0 0.0000001 btc is one satoshi now so one dollar is at the moment equal to 2140 satoshis in the beginning it was equal to 100 million satoshis so you can see that we need less satoshis to buy one dollar which you can see on this side these are the satoshis and this is the dollar value of bitcoin 
we are now almost at the 100k level. So really cool to see that um, I think in the future we will calculate in sets, satoshis more often than we will calculate in bitcoins because in the future nobody, almost nobody is, um, I think, able to buy full bitcoins when we have a value of one million dollar per bitcoin. Cool chart, and you can see the halvings, how many sets it was per dollar at every halving. So we started with eight million one hundred eighty sets. At the first uh, halving, at the second halving, it was one million one hundred fifty thousand, and now it's eleven thousand. And the next halving will be lower again. Cool job. Now, what do we have more? Bam! Over here, because if we're talking about all the halvings, we can see how many bitcoins are mined in which periods. Um, also, some very cool information, in my opinion, to know. Um, this was the first one, the first period that was when Bitcoin was created. 10 million 500 thousand bitcoins were mined in that first epoch the second epoch was 5 million 250 thousand bitcoins mined in the third this is going is what was mined 2 million 625 and now at the moment there is only 10 percent left to mine so there's only 10 percent bitcoin left to mine Till when will this take? You can also see the years over there. I can tell you this last part, a very small one over there, will happen in the year 2140. Yes, that was correct. You heard me correct. The last Bitcoin will be mined in the year 2140. We won't be living at that moment anymore, or we should be having a new invention that we can um, live forever, but else we won't be living. So that means that the amount of Bitcoin coming to the market will take 2000 to 2140, which makes it the perfect store of value that can never be influenced by any central organization. And that is why I completely believe in Bitcoin and why I keep adding sets. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? Oh, shit, my video was 14 minutes again. I'm talking too slowly nowadays. Okay, thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow again, guys. 